did today was we went to a school in the Maasai village on the Maasai Mara. He said there's at least 10 villages that will come and some of the kids will walk for an hour to come to the school. There's 154 boys going to the school and there's 115 girls, anywhere from 4 to 13 years old. What we're going to do is we're going to show you some of the classrooms and what they're doing, what they're learning. Some of them are singing to us, some of them are learning about the United States. So let's take a look at some of the things that we saw today at the school and how important it is that this school continues to develop here in the Maasai Mara. Okay. My name is Rita Cook and I come from USA in Texas. Texas. Oh, we found it. Uh, let's see. Up here. Wait, way up here. Look it. Right there. And this is Texas right here. Oh. This little area right there. Oh, me toca Texas. Texas. Oh. What is the difference between your country and Kenya? You guys have beautiful animals here, lions and elephants and rhinos, and we don't have those in the United States. Okay. So we love to come and see them because they're very beautiful. <laughs> How is what? How is the weather in your country? How is what? Actually, the weather is in Texas is just like the weather here. Okay. In Kenya, actually, but it's very cold in other parts of our country. And what are you teaching them today? Uh, now, they want to bring about social studies. Okay. And some of these uh, children, they know how to read, some they know how to speak English and Swahili. Okay. They are not speaking uh, Maasai language as the lower classes, they, are, they speak Swahili mostly. It's very important that these children go to school because since about the year 2002, it's been mandatory in Kenya for children to have an education. However, it's very hard for the people at the schools to convince the villagers to send their children to school. There's a, there's a thing that boys do, which is about sort of coming of age, where you go out to the Mara for three months and you become a man. And because of the schools, it interrupts and interferes with the fact that these boys can't do that. So it's a, it's a very delicate balance. 